Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be solving the newest Hanayama, the Cast Valve Puzzle. It is a level 4 out of a possible 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale. And as always with Hanayama puzzles, our aim is to disassemble all the pieces and then reassemble them back into their original position. And then once we've done that, we will have the added task of then placing it on the Hanayama leaderboard, my own Hanayama leaderboard, based on how difficult I find it to solve. The first task, disassembling it. Okay, so here is the brand new Valve puzzle. It's made up of four pieces, which I didn't realize until I looked at the box here. You got the two inner silver bits and then the two well, outer and inner gold pieces. I didn't realize that that gold bit in the middle was separate. I thought that was, well, at first glance at the box, I thought it was one gold piece. So four pieces to separate. Let's get into solving it. And yeah, off we go. We'll see what we can do. First thought is that it's similar to maybe the cylinder puzzle and the infinity puzzle in terms of things rotate and then maybe come out one piece at a time or sort of fall down or up when they're in certain positions on here. So that's what we're going to try and start to work on. You can sort of see a little bit of a gap down here. You're about to see it on camera, but. I'm going to try and see if we can see anything on this inner gold piece. And yes, we can. So we have got like a little bit of a ledge that starts on the on on the outer side of the inside gold bit. So as we turn around, that gets in the way there. So let's see if we can play around with that. And it looks to be there's another one here. So we moved that first bit over to here, and it looks to be like there's another bit here, but it's at a, a different level. So there's one bit, say, here, and one bit a little bit lower. So, which means we will probably come out at stages. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to, there's gonna be a gap, which I seem to have found on the inside of this gold bit in here. There's probably gonna be an equal gap somewhere on the outside of this gold piece. Maybe figure out where the equivalent gap is on the, outer gold bit. So you can see if I push down there we get a little bit of movement. Although uh, to be honest that seems universal actually so ignore that. So there does also look to be the same sort of grooves and step outs on the outside gold bit as there is on the inside gold bit. So I think it is going to be a case of lining all these things up. Now, I might be wrong here and it might be a bit hard to see at this angle but I feel like I've lined up the outside gold bit and the inside gold bit with what, with a couple of grooves that I can see. There, I see. There's our first drop through. And this does look very, very similar to the cylinder puzzle. And in, in how it's come through it's a, it's a relatively blind sort of solve. And this will groove on the inside of this silver piece. Looks pretty much identical to the grooves on the, in, on the inside of the cylinder as well. There's not really a point of reference on the outside gold shell. On all the other, oh, on the two silver pieces there are obviously. You've got the Hanayama engraving there and the, and the valve engraving there. But on the gold pieces we, we've got no reference. Oh, we drop down a little bit further with this one. So you can see on this, now we've dropped down a little bit further on this silver piece, which means we can see pretty much the whole top half of this gold bit in here. And the only bit that's, the only groove sticking out is, is in here. I think I might be able to rush through this and get it solved. Oh, so we've dropped down on both sides in there first. I feel like I want, yeah, I could rush a little bit more through this and try and get it apart, but I want to understand how this is happening. Partly so that it makes putting it back together easier, but also it's just a bit more rewarding when you know how you've done something and why, rather than just, just racing through it. So we've dropped through again. 
on this piece. I'm not sure whether that was the first, but the Hanayama bit was the first bit to drop through, or whether it was the valve. I have a feeling it was the Hanayama actually. But I think now we're probably on the last level for that piece, so we just need to get it in the right position. And that might just drop out. It's hard to try and turn this gold bit without blocking your view and trying to actually get it solved. Something. So I'm trying to sort of t um, turn under this gold groove on the other side of the piece, or opposite my finger here. But we can't. Oh, we can. Yeah, there we go. Ah, it all fell out in one piece. Or oh, in one go. And there we go. That is the valve puzzle solved. These two pieces are different, so that's going to matter in the in the reassembly. This bit does have does have grooves at three various levels, and I'm assuming this one does as well. It does, although nothing on on this edge, which is interesting. But there we go. How long did that take? What, ten minutes, something like that, to solve or to separate? Obviously, that's only half of the job done. We now need to, to reassemble it. And I'm a little bit worried because I didn't fully understand. Uh, well, nah, maybe I'm doing myself an injustice. I think I did understand how it worked. It did work how I wanted it to work. And I think I was right. It, is, it does seem like a, a mixture of the infinity puzzle and, and the cylinder puzzle. But yeah, we're halfway there. We've taken the valve puzzle apart. And now it's time to put it back together. So let's get straight back on with, with doing that. Hmm. So looking at this, this is a little bit more complicated than, than I expected, I think. I guess the first aim is to, is to get these together. What I do know is that Valve and Hanayama are the opposite way around. So if Valve is facing this way, Hanayama must be facing this way. Yeah, so the fact that it does twist when it's in this position, this way around, makes me think that this is the right way or the, the correct way around in terms of these three now we need to figure out what is the correct way Oops. they didn't go together in this bit so we're gonna have to sort of half separate these pieces and I'm gonna try and do it while it's in while it's in this position I can't make my mind up which way is easier to sort of try and get it back in. This way where I sort of just using gravity, I don't have to keep a hold of them from the bottom to keep them in place. Or this way where I have to keep them in place, but you can sort of, you can see the grooves on the inside a little bit easier. But I'm not sure if that's helping me or not at the minute. To come forward a step here. Hey, <laughs> there it is. There we go. Reassembled the valve puzzle. In a similar time to actually disassembling it, actually, I think around 10, 11, 12 minutes, something like that. Yeah, I like the valve puzzle. It's very well made, as they all are, as all Hanayamas are. Right, we have disassembled it, reassembled it. Now we shall place it on the leaderboard of difficulty. The valve puzzle, done. So there we go, we managed to disassemble and then reassemble all four valve pieces in around 20 minutes, which is pretty decent for a level four puzzle. As I said, as we were solving this one, it felt like sort of a mixture of two puzzles we've solved recently, or not recently, but we, that we've solved in the past. The first one being the infinity puzzle, the level six infinity, and the second one being the level four cylinder puzzle, which is all the way up here. So, two puzzles that are very much on the top two shelves the cylinder being being the harder of the two in my opinion and i think maybe if we came into solving the valve puzzle without solving those two puzzles today would have been a lot harder the the experience of those two helped in in a big way reassembly was a little bit more difficult as i said as we as we was doing it it was hard to, well, my mistake with this assembly was losing track of which piece or the orientation of, of each piece in relation to the other pieces, but we did get there in the end with that. And our final task is just to place it on this leaderboard. Right now we have the easiest puzzles down here. 
we have the hardest puzzles that we've done up here and yeah now we need to see where the valve is going to place the last puzzle that we solved the the other or the second most recent honey armor puzzle as of right now was the dice puzzle we are way harder than the dice puzzle that was quite a, a, a fiddly one but a relatively straightforward one so we're definitely above for at least on shelf three if we then jump right up to the infinity puzzle which i've compared it to quite a lot in this uh, so far we're definitely not as hard as the infinity and as i just said it might be because of experience that we found the valve easier but for me as of right now the infinity puzzle was harder at solving that the first time than the valve was today. If we come down a shelf and we look at the coaster puzzle, I think we're probably easier than the coaster puzzle. So we're definitely looking at, well, at the minute we're looking at shelf three. Although on second thoughts, looking at what is above the coaster puzzle, I think we're easier than the donut, I mean harder than the donut, sorry. I think we're easier than the square puzzle. Harder than the square puzzle even. The duet, I'm not so sure. I think we're not quite as hard as the duet. I also struggled with the elk. I think that one's probably gonna stay above, above the valve as well, which I think we've already got it. I think we are between the square and the duet puzzle. And that is all three tasks done. We disassembled the valve puzzle. We reassembled the valve back into its original position and we placed the valve on the Hanayama leaderboard. Job done for today. Thank you very much for being here. If you want to see me solve all of these other Hanayama puzzles, all these step-by-step -step solutions to each and every one of them, then be sure to click my face here and I will see you next time. Peace.